Hello and welcome to another episode of my Productivity Mastery Series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I want to explain about the principles of one focus. Now as we enter the new year we all have, I'm sure, many, many plans that we want to do this year. Many projects, many goals, many New Year's resolutions. And it's very tempting to get started straight away, full of enthusiasm and an energy, and to try and get them all done as quickly as we possibly can. Now, this is one of the reasons why many people fail at achieving their goals and indeed New Year's resolutions. We take on far too much. Now, we have a whole year here. We have 365 days in which to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. So you can slow down a little bit. But the biggest thing and the one thing that changed my life way back in 2015 was when I started focusing on one thing at a time. Now, you can do this at work, but generally at work we're dealing with other people and everybody else has different projects and it's very hard to stay on top and say, no, I'm only focusing on one thing. But in our personal lives, in our personal goals and the things that we want to achieve in our personal lives, this is entirely possible. Now, essentially what you're doing is you focus on one project or focus on one goal. Now, you can do this for one month or you can do this for three months or, if you wish, you can do what I'm doing this year, which is taking eight-week cycles, which essentially works out at eight, month, eight months, two months, and doing one project. Now, for me, when I've been looking at the way I've developed projects last year, was that it takes around about six weeks to actually do a project. That means if I was creating a new online course, for example, it takes about six weeks to develop. And so what I thought about at the end of the last year was, well, maybe what I can do is do these eight-week cycles. And I had seen this before. Uh, Sean Blank of The Sweet Setup does this, and his whole company does this, and they do eight-week cycles. That's six weeks total focus on one project and two weeks to catch up with all the little admin stuff that gets put aside while you're working on the project. But it's something that, as I say, I learned <clears throat> way back in 2015 was before then I used to try and do, like most people, everything all at once. And yeah, I got a few of the goals completed, but I never really completed all the goals that I wanted to complete. But when I st changed that strategy and started focusing on one thing at a time so that all my energy, all my focus was on that one project, I started to get a lot more goals, a lot more projects completed. And this is a really key part because we're, the world is full of distractions today, dragging us off in all sorts of different places. It is very hard to stay focused on one thing at a time. But if you really want to start achieving those goals, if you really want to start completing your projects, then focusing in on one thing at a time is the way to go. And remember, as I said at the beginning of this video, you have plenty of time. There's 365 days, there's 12 months. If you divide that 12 months by two and are focusing on two months for one project at a time, you're gonna get six projects or even six goals developed. Now, the same thing applies if you're trying to change your habits. As I mentioned in last week's episode about the daily habits and behaviors that we have influence our outcomes and if we can change the negative behaviors and habits into more positive behaviors and habits, we are more likely to achieve our goals. Now, the same thing applies. If you focus your attention and focus your mind in on one thing at a time, you can develop six very positive habits throughout 2019. And when you do that, that's going to take you forward into the next year and the year after that and the year after that. And over a period of, say, one to five years, you can completely change your daily habits. You can completely change your whole life and turn it into an incredibly positive force in the world. And really, we do need a lot more positive force in the, in the world today. The world tends to be quite negative <clears throat> around us with wars and, and conflicts and all sorts of other things and the political machinations that's going on in Europe and indeed the US, it, 
we as individuals can take it upon ourselves to be the positive force in the world. And it all starts with us. It all starts with the individual. And if we can change our habits and change our goals so that we're helping more people and being a positive influence on the world, I think that's a good thing. But essentially what I really want to, to, to drive home in this week's video is when you look at your list of all the things that you want to achieve this year, try and divide it up, spread it out over the whole year. You don't have to start everything at once. Now, as many of you will know, I actually joined the 5 a.m. club last year. Now, one of the things I did is I didn't actually start that in January. I started that in June. So I was pretty much halfway through the year before I actually started that because I was doing other things at the beginning of the year and I wanted to focus all my attention on those things. Now, when it came to the 1st of June and I started the 5 a.m. club, yeah, as I mentioned many times before, that first week was indeed hell, but I got through it and now it's just very natural for me. I can't imagine not waking up at 5 a.m. during the week. I have to confess, I don't do it on weekends. That's when I like to catch up with my sleep. But the important thing is, is I didn't rush into it. And when I look back over 2018, I realized, wow, I actually achieved a lot of the things I really wanted to achieve. And of course, I'm human, so I didn't achieve everything. Some things went wrong, some things got delayed, some things got pushed off into this year. But the most important thing is, I did get a lot more done than I did in my pre-2015 life. And that is because what I do is focus on one thing at a time until I feel that it's become natural or it's become a habit or indeed the project has been completed. So my advice to you this week is have a look at your list of all the things that you want to achieve this year and divide it up over the 12 months. You don't have to start everything all at once. Maybe you want to start some of the more difficult things say towards the end of the year or maybe you want to attack the difficult things right at the beginning of the year and leave the easier stuff until the end of the year. Whichever way you decide to do it, you have that choice, you have that power. But really what I would love for you to do is to start becoming a machine of achievement, that you actually start achieving all the things that you really, really want to achieve. And I feel that if you focus in on one thing, you just get that real focus in on one thing at a time, you'll be amazed at what you can achieve. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a fantastic 2019. And I hope that you achieve everything that you set out to achieve. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive, then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to creating your own COD system. And if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details are in the show notes below.